hyenas. Hyenas. Ah, oh, no, you can hear me. We don't want to hear me. Why are we hearing me? There we go. That's sorted. Pokemon would be useful, wouldn't it? So yeah, uh, I was meant to be uh, seeing a friend today in Glasgow, and then just as I was getting ready to go and, and meet them, uh, my body was like, "What if you throw up instead?" So instead, I'm I'm here in my flat. Uh, I'm fine-ish. It's just if I stand up for too long, my head starts spinning. So, so yeah, we're doing good. Uh, I've got another, oh, I need to get the Nuzlocke tracker and stuff up, don't I? That'd be helpful. Oh, I'll also now at the very start just run add so that we don't have to do it later. Now we don't have to watch ad now pre-roll ads will get disabled. If anyone here is watching who's a sub, thank you very much for subbing. Or if you have Twitch Nitro, whatever the fuck it's called. Nice lock. And then we also need parking my We're on our way to where are we at the moment? We're at Four Lava Town. So I need to not fuck up the next encounter. Also, I guess there's the Meteor Falls question. Because we can get, um... In Meteor Falls, we can get, uh... Also, if, if you were watching the ad, hi, welcome back from the ad. Um, if we get into the back room, we can get Bag on. Uh, theoretically. I mean, actually, theoretically, if we take a lure with us, we might be able to get, a, get one anyway. Um, but otherwise, it's just Zubat, Solrock, or Lunatone, which, none of which are hugely exciting, I don't think. Oh, hello. I've accidentally found the person who invented Pokemon storage. Uh... That's a nice Pokemon in storage, though, for the future, at least. And also, once we're done with this gym, then I can start buying candies to make grinding easier. Hi, gamers. Oh, is it, does it still think it's capturing, like, Fortnite or something? Yes, it does. Hello. Welcome back. To the stream. Let me just get all my various things I need to have up. There we go. So yeah, we've made it to Falaba Town, which I think we just need to continue from. Do I have a lure already? No, it doesn't seem like it. I guess I could pop... Armand Thompson! Um, we only have one encounter, so I guess one lore is all that really matters. Um, and I'll get some more, I'll get like five more, ten more great balls whilst we're at it. Is this a contest hall? 
Oh yeah, they replaced the contest halls with battle sites. Okay, so the next room is fire, which I'm very tempted actually to, uh, until we beat the fire gym to switch out um, Agron Sandler with um, probably Judea. I think it's probably worth it just to have that backup. Um, we do though, before that, still have the, uh, is it Maxine we fight on? Um, is it Maxine that we fight on the volcano? Uh, which is called something. Mount Chimney. Um, Tabitha. No, we fight Maxi, who has five Pokemon, um, of which a bug type is useful for one, no, two. So it's definitely worth having. It's definitely worth keeping the team like this for the time being. We'll just, we'll just also have Judah with us. So yeah, the Maxi fight is the next scary one. I guess we'll switch train to do that for now. Which house is this? Don't you have something for me if I go and find you? Okay, I think once you've... Once you've beat the Elite Four or something... Oh, does the child give us something actually? Yeah, the child gives us dick. So yeah, we can theoretically get Graveler before we get, because Graveler evolves at level 25, so we should have Graveler before the gen. But yeah. There's a noise for ya. Gonna be a fucking high energy stream today. Well, I think we'll do better than we did last time if I don't get distracted by the Fortnite halfway through. Um, I think this will... Well, we'll see how I get on, because I'm feeling a bit ill still. So this might be a shorter stream, but we'll see. I'm also still waiting for an email that I was told I would get by now. Do you give me Snarl? Me Ruhr. Ruh, what am I? A German? Okay. I've got like 500 emails from Indeed, but none of them are the one that we want, so. Um. Timmy. So yeah, we get. An encounter on this route as well, and we could get Swablu would probably be the best encounter we could get here for us. I also think double kick is actually the best move we can use here. Woo! Uh, which verse do you have, Judy Depp? It entirely depends on your verse. You got sturdy, so I. Um, it's probably more consistent than rollout, and consistency is what we really need in a run like this. Iron defense is better than harden, though. Like I imagine, uh, Maxi's got Grass Knot on a couple of Pokemon and probably also Thunder like Thunderbolt or something um, not Maxi you know who I mean you know who I mean, Flannery we do have a couple of like tough fights coming up soon
Well, oh, I should probably alter on the Nuzlocke track. That's not you, that is you. And that's not you, that is you. The Nuzlocke track on most exists, so I don't repeat encounters or anything. But it's nice to keep it up to date. I'm, I reckon it's probably the fringe because you've got people coming from like all over and so you've got people bringing like germs that you won't be exposed to the rest of the year round and that probably is like how fresher's flu is a thing at uni because it's people from coming from all over like the country and the world who haven't been exposed to each other's germs and it just has tackle so we can take down this camp. Goldine, however, scarier. It will still have heck, so I'm not gonna. Uh, Magic up might need to get a few more. Actually, we can just crunch these guys down. What level is Maxi? Uh, twenty-five to twenty-three. So we're. Some of our team might be slightly overleveled for it already, but it's not the end of the world. Because we we got two like hardish fights back to back now. Crunch. We are losing the flinch here, but that's fine, I reckon. The office would have been nice to post the room. Uh, and that's Bell and Splash. Does, is there any conceivable use of Splash? Because it's surely just wasting a turn. Like the most you could possibly do it, be doing with it would be just like wasting a turn. Like, like I can't think of a single time when like Splash as a move would be like useful for you. I mean, there must be one. I just don't know about it. The chances of getting a swap blue here are so small, but it would be so helpful. Because Altaria is really good. I mean, we probably don't need two dragon dancers on the team. Because it probably, if we get if we get an Altaria, it'll probably be a second Dragon Dancer. But um, level cap is technically thirty three at the moment. I wonder if it does make more make more sense to just play to um, Pokemon Mo's level cap and so like other level caps because this is harder than we'll just see how we go okay so lombre i'm just gonna mop punch and see how much it does nearly there actually mop punch is weirdly powerful now i could probably make a drain and just like heal all that back heal that like four damage i just took from the mayor, the mayor the Will it heal all of it? Uh -huh. There is nothing you can conceivably do to hurt Sandra. Okay. I don't think there's anything to do with like manipulating encounters we really need to do here. Oh, okay. Tower and Ivy. Okay, so I reckon Roselli is scary. So, but Roselli is gonna target um, Judah. It'll have to be Woofs, and then we can just uh, waterfall the Gradler. And it intimidates them both as well, which is pretty nice. 
Especially if it's got sturdy, which it does. There we go. Seed bomb's very... Oh, ooh. Yeah, a crit of seed bomb would be bad. Okay, so we'll rock smash graveler and crunch the roselia. We might trigger poison point off this, which wouldn't be ideal, but... We're good. Judy that levels up again. <sighs> so I think from next week, no matter whether or not I have something to do, it's probably about time to start streaming with actual fucking schedule. Oh yeah, Lynette, I think, just gives you a low tad doll, which isn't really useful for anything other than... Hmm. I know that if you're, like, nuzlocking properly, well, like, on a ROM, you usually want to route it to avoid as many trains as possible. But we need the XP desperately, which does slow us down quite a lot. But, because yeah, otherwise we could just get to, from fight to fight, as quickly as possible, like, set up our teams as efficiently as possible. I mean, we do still need the money, to be fair. Because even when we can get, um, when we can get, um, what are they called? Um, XP candies. We still have to buy them. Actually, you know what I should do here? I should send entire Blevins. It's a bug flying, so that does nothing. And then we leech life. Leech life is crazy strong. Like, I think with, um, hmm, no. With Maxi, we want to lead with Magic Hot Mike because, uh, Intimidate. Don't make that noise at me. Steven. Okay. Aaron is level 19. I reckon a magnitude. Not great, not ideal, not good at all. Uh, Tyler is a flying type though, so if it's gonna match you again. Oh, fuck it, Iron had it. Might need to run back and heal quickly. <laughs> Viper. Is Viper any good? I only remember it from the Pokemon anime because one of them, uh, because I think Team Rocket had one. For like a couple of regions. No, I'm in Thompson! Okay, that was a crit and it did that much so we can and that didn't even paralyze but if we can get a second month staff off we can't afford a third because if it crits it knocks out but I bought some more great balls between or did I do that on stream can you tell I'm well Fucking hell, what is your catch rate, Survivor? Hmm. I can rock smash, that might do just enough to push you down a bit more. Have to hope this'll be enough. 
I mean, I don't plan on... I've got... I don't have a poison type, but I can't think of a point when... Hi, Alfie. How are you doing? It's a snake. Oh, man, Thompson! Snake. That feels right. Tired. Me too. Well, I'm sick. I'm not tired. Uh, and what's its nature? It's timid. Up speed, down attack. I don't know if that's at all useful. But yeah, we'll go back and heal quickly. Because we're in a bit of a rough way. And then we can hopefully go and actually make some progress in this game. How do you to be fair? Last time I did beat a gym, so it's not like I did nothing. And once we beat the fourth gym, we can go straight into the fifth gym. So we can go straight into the fifth gym and we can like buy candies from the market so okay now we can head up here I can't remember what items around here <sighs> I, sh I probably should have worked out if there was anywhere specific I could have got a geodude to like um like sort encounters specifically but It's gonna use a random move, so there's nothing I can really do to fit this. Oh. That's an idea. Yeah, self destruct is terrifying. Okay, we're gonna heal up Magic Cart Mike. There is n no way there's no item in this bit, right? Why would you put something up there? It is, like, what is really fun that self-destruct exists because it has uh, implications for this children's game. Like, super easy to do terrorism in the world of Pokemon because you simply are like... You're simply like, do you do t use self-destruct in the shopping center? And you've done, you've done that. Fuck, that did, <sighs> fucking hell. Jeez. Slugma, no need to be like that. But yeah, these games are weird. Sometimes weirdly dark for kids games, but also they've never embraced it, which is probably for the best. You ask me. Well, you tell me. I have no clue how you burn a rock. I guess you could, like, scold, singe it. But, I don't know, I don't, yeah, it makes no sense. Some of the stuff in this makes no sense. Uh, do I have any burn heals? Oh, do I have any burn heal berries? Guess we go back again. Um, and I will switch out my lead Pokemon just in case we could have got a Nuzleaf. Shift Tree is, re is real good. I used one in my casual playthrough. But yeah, some t I think oh, come on. There there are some bits of like Pokemon type matchup logic that really do need to be like rethought in the future. Because Of a Mangoose. We're pretty fast, so we should be able to run away from this pretty easy. Yeah, 
There we go. I should... I've been trying to save money... I've been trying to save money so we can just buy a bunch of XP candies once we're done with um, the fourth gym to go straight into the fifth gym, but I guess I can still just buy a couple of healing items just for the journeys. Ten of them. Uh, I'm not seeing burn heal here. Like, free antidotes. And like free paralyzed heals. And there's no burn heals, so I guess that'll have to do. Why I mean why in this in this town we're out by a volcano would the shop sell burn heals? That would make no sense. Make absolutely zero sense to do that. The implications of some bug Pokemon are quite horrifying. Now this is the Pokemon we wanted. We didn't get it. I would have really liked Swap Belief for this route. But there's not much we could have done about that. No, don't need to tell me about the Dubai house prices. I love it that my computer is just something like, you'll know about house prices in Dubai, right? Don't you? I don't know how to break it to it, but I do not care. Uh. But yeah. I, I saw some art that someone had done of like of like how bug type Pokemon would look. And yeah, it horrifying. I would hate to live in a world where the bug type Pokemon were real. Oh I do have a Google up line, this is true. But I don't care about Dubai. I care about I care about um Saudi Arabia. Okay, so you don't have rollout then, that's interesting. Oh, you're trying to lower my speed? Nice try. It's not gonna work. Tyler is actually real powerful. And Tyler also has this fun ability called speed boost where every turn he gains um speed so if you can keep him in and keep that rolling he ends up super strong ah, sleepy oh you've got oblivious fuck you I am slightly dreading the two fights we have to do that are coming up, but I think we should be okay. I think we should be slightly overleveled for at least Maxine, which we'll probably need. You got a Smackdown? You do. Oh. Mountains are unforgiving. This is true. That was probably a waste of a super potion, but oh well. We're nearly there. We're nearly at the cave. We've just got the Yodler to go. Oh. Man. I've been trying to learn, so I've been playing because, because obviously I was meant to be doing something today, so I and then I got, I started feeling ill so I couldn't. So I've been, for the past like hour before I decided that I was well enough to stream, I was playing Forza. 
and I've been learning how to um, drive manual because um, if you can drive manual in that game you have an advantage over anyone who's driving automatic but it's hard especially if you're someone like me who can't drive in real life um, so I but I, I now know how to drive I once we get to Maxine uh, Forza's fun we'll 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 do the next boss fight and then after that depending on how we're feeling we'll do some Forza because also I'm not a hundred percent sure that my PC can handle Forza that's my like slight worry with it okay so we'll see what we get we've used the lure Zubat Damn it. <laughs> this is the one thing we didn't want to happen. And we didn't. Yeah, I, I definitely want to. No, to be fair, I'm just saying it's an option that I have for um, the back half of the stream if Pokemon fails to hold my attention. Because <laughs> I am a child with the lack of complete lack of attention span. Okay, this was the one Pokemon we didn't want. Horrid. Horrid. Hate. Horrid. Hate. Uh, so that's Media Falls. Could have even got the evolved one. And it's careful. Got a dragon fang though, which means we can do some breeding. Okay, we've got some antidotes. I don't have ADHD. I just have a short attention span. No one has ever... I don't think I have ADHD anyway. I don't know. Fuck you, Solrock. I've never had any issues that have caused me enough problems that, like, it's a real thing. I just... And, like... There is an argument that, like, people in general, um, such attention spans have been completely fucked by technology and, um, media. So it could just be a combination of the two. You never know. Okay, we, uh, in this, in this run where if a Pokemon dies, it's dead forever, we probably don't want to learn self-destruct. Maybe. I don't want to steal Valor from people who actually have ADHD. I'm, I'm fine. We might be able to get Jigglypuff soon though, the best Pokemon in the game. So Jigglypuff is my favorite Pokemon. Oh yeah, there's not actually a fucking fight here, so I healed up for nothing. Yeah. I don't want to steal Valor. Uh. This means I may as well just use that down. I really want to do another... I, I've been thinking a lot about Civ 6 and I think I might do another Civ 6 campaign at some point. Hi, they took your meteorite. Um, they're taking it to Mount Chimney, which means we have to now do Big Circle. If 
back off. Don't embargo my Pokemon. Two bats. A second bat has dropped the screen. Oh wait, so you can get double battles here. Interesting. Back off. Stop poisoning my rock! I am tempted to look at Beyond Earth. I, I don't know enough about it, but I think it could be fun. I need I need enough I need to get enough other people on the Discord into streaming, but not the people who watch me. Other people, so that then, <laughs> so that then I can do like collab stuff with uh, other people, or I just need to make friends who stream. This is also possible. If I if I in integrate myself into the beyond the Civ Beyond Earth uh, community. Boing, boing, boing. Okay. So we've got one more encounter before before um the next gym or before the next fight. Cindy. Because then I know then then you can't watch. Unless unless the hogs all agree to stream at different times of the week so we don't fuck each other's viewer numbers up. Which would really be bad for me seeing as I, I am allergic to making a schedule for these things. You can scream, scream, you can scream if you want to. That is fair. I am good background noise. I am very good at being background noise. It's one of my, one of my better skills. I don't have a, a voice that's grating enough to, to <laughs> stop, to be a, to like distract from work. It's only a little bit grating. It's grating enough to make you want to work. Which my arms are so like he's standing I'm too narrow to show it off here. But he's standing in such a weird way. And also ow my arm. Damn, I wish I could be paid to not do any work. It would be, would be, let you know, I would hate it. I quite like working. I think I've said this before, I quite enjoy working. I just want to do work that's meaningful, which is hard to come by. Black belt knob, knob defeated. Knob reg registered in Pokedex. Where the fuck is the grass on this route? Yeah, that, I should learn, I should learn to code. This is what I should do. I, I should, I should learn to have an employee. Okay, so you, you made the wrong assumption there, Zangoose. Oh, it's Pursuit the best move you've got for me. Fascinating. Okay. I'm gonna Stealth Rock to do some damage to the next Pokemon they switch in. And 
And then we can smack down again to finish off the Zangies. And we have to hope the next one doesn't have Pursuit, because if it does, we may be slightly more fat. Surveyor Puff. Armin Thompson! Armin Thompson is my favourite part of this run. I'm gonna miss miss them when we we lose, inevitably. You wanna bite me? I'll crunch you. No, I don't want your Pokemon. I'm fine. Oh, and I think because we've delivered all the stuff, um, if we go to the uh, b -b 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 to the Devon Corporation, they'll give us shit for free. What is this from? This is Stellaris music. Stellaris is a game I I struggle to get. It's like the one. It's the one um, Paradox game I've never managed to like work out or like get on with. But the music's really good. It's got like really nice sort of ambient music. Devon's gone all corporate, it's really disappointing. It's really disappointing to, to, to see. Okay, so who knows where you catch a Pokemon on Route 115 then? Because I remember there being grass here. But evidently not. Hmm. Ah. Uh. What? Why did you do that? Yeah, we're back at Respiro City. Um, and now we, we're going to do... Um, there's a couple of ways you can get back to where we want to be. The Oh yeah, no. I do really, the stuff I do like about Stellaris is how it lets you sort of come up with like quite detailed backstory and stuff. Like, of all of the Paradox games, because it's kind of divorced from real world settings, it means that you, you have way more like interesting roleplay opportunities. Which is really cool. I'm just not like a space opera sci-fi person. So we get the XP share for that. And for... Do you not have something for me delivering the Devon goods? Evidently not. Got the XP share though. See, and now we ride across there. Oh, wait. Why are you waiting here? Oh, wait, don't you give me that time repeat balls and timer balls. That's way more disappointing than anything else. Yeah, I've, one thing I do want to mess around at some point in, um, oh yeah, now you, you just give me strength. Um, I do want to mess around with like custom empires and stuff in EU4. Which is something I've never done. But like, because custom rulers in CK3 is fun, but like, um, I'll probably do one when we do our next main campaign. Um, which, I, which is probably, as I've said, will replace um, Pokemon in the sort of cycle of games that I do. Because I think we have like two to three games that we cycle through at any one time. Like, and at the moment it's Dark Souls and Pokemon. When Dark Souls ends, I think we'll replace it with something action y. And when this ends, I think um, Paradox Man campaign works quite nicely because they're both a bit RPG y. As, as much as RPG is a nothing turn. 
Rock Slide is better than SmackDown, even though it's worse um, accuracy. The chop is not great. Oh. You need revenge, which shouldn't do much to me. It shouldn't be the case that Timmy is my best answer for fighting types. But I guess he is. I can make. We'll just go up here because I think there's an item. I don't know if it's a useful item, but it's an item. Are you a trainer? Oh, it's an HP up, so it's not incredibly useful, but... Oh, you're the one who needs the black glasses or something. I can't remember where they are. This is from one of Lena Rain's soundtracks for... Oh, they're invisible on the ground next to him. Thank you very much. I could not remember where they are. I will grab them now. I thought I had the item finder, but I evidently don't. And I think the item finder works weird in Pokemon MMO anyway. Also, hi, welcome to the stream. I'm sick. Armin Thompson. I didn't see you go off my arm and Thompson. Oh. Right. Damn, I wish I had some repels right now. Wait, I have Pokemon Intimidate. They basically work as repels, right? I think they do. I mean, I guess it's XP for due to that. They're on the ground next to you. Um, so this is PokeMMO. So PokeMMO is... This is Emerald that we're doing, functionally. Do I have the item finder? So yeah, this is Pokemon Mo, which... What have I done? Uh, this is Pokemon Mo, which is a... Uh, we'll register you to seven. Um... To his left. There we are. What? Where'd he go? Um, but yeah, this is Pokemon Mo, which is um, a multiplayer ROM hack type thing that combines. Um, currently, it combines um, Fire Red, um, Fire Red, Emerald, Platinum, and Black. They're about to add Heart Gold Johto into it. Um, and what I am doing is something that no sane person should do, which is a Nuzlocke of... We're attempting to do like a, 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 a Nuzlocke of all four, or probably because apparently like we're a couple of days off them adding... Um, we're, a couple, we're a couple of days off them adding... Um, what are they called? Um, Johto to the game. Um, 
this may end up being a five region Nuzlocke. Um, and it's it's very difficult. Um, one thing about um, Pokemon Mo is it's ma is it makes the game harder in a couple of ways. Um, okay, I'm just gonna get my dock up. Um, so we have to fight a Grunt with a Nummel, a Grunt with a Zubat, uh, Abba uh, Tabitha who has a bit of a scary team, and then Maxi. Um, first one's got a Nummel, so we'll just use Judadat for that. But yeah, it's really fun. Um, it does have some issues. Um, it has a lot of the usual MMO issues where, like, it gets very grindy at points. Oh, fuck. Damn you. Um, but yeah, um, it's real fun. Um, and the... Well, they're, they're both pro-climate change in different ways. Team Magma... Team Magma want to destroy the seas, and Team Aqua want to destroy the land. So, like, they both want to fuck up the world, just in different ways. Um... Next one has a Zubat, so I guess again Magikarp Mike is probably the best one. But like, yeah, they're both... It's like if Extinction Rebellion were like, okay, we need to just flood the, flood the entire country and don't stop oil, we're like, see, see, um, what's it called? Um, like, r rising sea levels are the worst threat. And, oh, yeah, no. The only one that has any kind of, like, concept that makes sense is, um, is, uh, Team Plasma in Pokemon Black and White. Um, in, ba in Black and White 1, I should say, because in Black and White 2, they kind of just, they, they are a team without a cause, and they're, like, going through a civil war kind of thing, which is an interesting concept. Okay. I'm, I'm going to lead with Woofs for the next one, um, because, yeah, so Team Rocket are just like the Mafia. Aqua and Magma, Aqua and Magma are like environmental terrorists, thank you. Um, then these, you have, yeah, Rocket, Rocket and Mafia. Um, and then when Giovanni disappears after the first one, they sort of enter a crisis of leadership. I think he's dead, is what's happened. I'm gonna just bite. That did nothing. Uh, well, Plasma... The thing about Team Plasma is they are arguably correct they're just led by a guy with the wrong intention um then uh team flair are just fashionistas they just want to look they just want to like they're fascists because they care primarily about aesthetic above all else oh come on um Nothing is particularly good here. Ooh. 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 Um. Waterfall. Jeez. This ain't great. Team Flare are the fashion ones. Team Skull are like silly little gangster guys. Uh, Timmy's probably the best option here. Uh, then Team Yell are just simps. Okay, he's thinking Golbat. Interesting choice. Oh, fucking hell. 
Um, poison Fang, Wing Attack, Mega Drain, Hypnosis. So... I don't really have a good option here. <laughs> Oh fuck, if I have to sack something here. It's got Mega Drain as the issue. We're just gonna have to hope Rock Slide does a decent amount of damage. This could kill. Bye, Geodudet, you would not be very useful. Do we have a single good option here? Wait, it crashed? Has the stream crashed? What do you mean by crash? Am I being stupid? Rep, poofs in chat. Fuck, if this is the end of the run. What's the best option I have here? So Magicot Mike is burnt, so whatever damage that he does is halved. Tyler doesn't have a single good move against Golbat. Sandra takes four times damage from wing attack. And Timmy is weak to wing attack. So we... Uh, woof, 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 woof in peace. I think what we might have to do is essentially hope that Timmy gets into Blaze range. We're just gonna have to hope that Timmy gets into Blaze range. Survives. All the flame, all that this just kills. Okay, we're gonna have to hope Timmy survives and gets put in Blaze range. Okay. So Timmy is now doing extra damage because of Blaze, which is his ability. By doing Flame Charge, we've increased Timmy's speed. Timmy is level 28. Torkoal is next. Now Torkoal has used Drought, which has made the sunlight turn harsh. That's fine. Why are you a special attack? a special attacker to me. What the fuck? Is this just because of the way I've accidentally EV trained you? Yes, it seems to be. So, I think we have to just hope that double kick kills here. I don't think we've got another option. And double kick has stabbed, so it's... I think we have to hope that a blaze powered um, double kick kills. And it won't because Torkoal is insane fucking hell. Timmy. Everyone else is fucking weak to this Torkoal other than Magic Mike. I'm in terms of no. I think we're about to lose Timmy. You're gonna have to just double kick. I, there's no better option here. So. Our options. Are. We essentially sack Magic Cart Mike. Which isn't a great option. But it's an option. I think our best option is Magic Cart Mike gets, comes in. Waterfall, Waterfall is doing not very much currently because Waterfall, there's harsh sunlight. But sun, the thing about Waterfall is that it flinches and it's also 80 base power. So with stab, it's still doing more than crunch, I think. And here comes my Tiana. My Tiana has Thunder Punch. Uh, my Tiana is gonna Thunder Punch here, so we switch into Sandra. Okay. 
which isn't very effective. We were we were paralyzed, but effects bore triggered. So now what we can do is we can fuck. You've got ice. You've got ice fang, don't you? And fire fang. Fire fang is going to be boost because of the weather. I don't know if we can do this. Ma we have to essentially hope that Mac Punch kills, and I don't think it will. But because it's going to fire fang. Fire Fang is, is it's gonna Fire Fang, so it, I can't switch into... Yeah, I literally just have to hope that Mark Punch kills. Ugh, okay, we have to just survive this. We survive it. My Tiana dies to poison. Sandra then levels up and is level 27. I just got my last dragon tail, which is not at all useful right now. It's better than Twister, though. It's negative priority as well, so. Shush. Welcome to the channel. Oh, you're back. Oh no, you're not. You're a different person. The the viewer the 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 thank you for following thing is broken as fuck, and that that showed the name of someone who is who I banned. Uh, sorry for that, Kevy92. Um, fuck, what do we do here? What the fuck do we do here? <sighs> Torko has Flame Reel, Rock Slide, and two other moves that I'm not sure about. The Valiant Hearts music is fucking apt. Um, these are the options we have. I wish running was an option right now. Um, Sandra is paralyzed. So she might fucking die. But a mock punch might also do a decent amount of damage. And also effect spore might trigger off a flame wheel. And because Sandra's probably in death range, there's a non-zero chance that Torkoal uses a random move, which ends up being rock slide. Okay, best move is mock punch. And this, this might kill, but effect spore's gonna trigger. Thank you. I said effect spore's gonna... Okay, Tyler Blevins, it's all up to you. I think we're gonna get it, but it's gonna be fun rebuilding this team. And we're gonna have to hope the accuracy drop from this. Armor tubs on your back. <gasps> Am I about to beat a Torco with a fucking ninja? That's not even the main difficulty. That's easy. That's the lead up. Jeez. We've still got Maxi to go. Who has that team but harder. And although, to be fair, Maxi doesn't have a Torkoal. Right, it's time for the mass funeral we have to go and do. I do kind of like that with Ruby and Sapphire, it is implied that like whichever one you're playing, the other team are are like the are like oh like the team the team which isn't on the box. So like if you're I played Sapphire growing up, so it implied that Team Aqua were bad. The corpse of Woofs in chat is use, is doing this. This is slightly scary. Tyler, you're gonna have to run here. Uh, Gyarados isn't holding an item. Um, I'm gonna... I don't know what items I've got, but we'll sort them out before Maxi. Um, the thing that we do have to deal with is... Well, first is the mass burial we have to do now. <sighs> Woofs, you were so good. Woof, Sandra, 
You were fucking key to that fight. Without you, we wouldn't have won it. Do you do that? You were kind of just a waste of space. And Timmy, you're our starter. I'm very sad to lose you. So. What do we have that's good? I guess we got Kamal. We got Kamal. We got Elena. We got... Don't want to use Horrid Hate, but we might... Oh, that is true. That is very true. Um... Horrid Hate is probably a better option here. Come on, what are you holding? Oh, a Rosemary. That would have been helpful. Um... You're not at all useful, are you, Minan? By yourself. It's I. Okay, I think it's going to be one of these three to add to the team. The issue. So, Aragorn Sandler is weak to fire type moves, which is going to be a problem for this. For the next. Well, for all the fire types we've got to fight in the immediate future. But we'll be fine once we reach. Um, once we reach the fifth gem. So, I think. I could teach Zoe Dig. Yeah, teaching Zoe Dig may be the best option here. Unless, like, the snake is good. Oh yeah, Laundred is pretty tanky though, isn't he? Laund yeah, Laundred is definitely better than, um... Lounder is definitely better than, um, what's the names? Then you know the one I'm talking about. Oh, and I'm going to have to teach all the HMs again, aren't I? Okay, so. Black Guesses, Magic Up Mike. Uh, Poison Barb to Elena. Quick Claw to uh, Carmel probably, because Carmel's slow. Now where would be... Oh, and I guess we've also got the XP share, so I can grind up two Pokemon at once. Uh, Whiny, you can have that. Hmm. Where is best for grinding, is the question. Because it's probably not this grass here. But it also may be. I mean, the mountain had like level 21s, which is pretty good. Yeah, mount, not moon, might be the best place to go. We'll just do a little bit of a circle, I think. <sighs> this is going to be so slow. Once we beat Flannery, you can buy items on the global market. And we can buy XP candies, which rapidly increase XP. But we can't buy them until we beat the fourth gym. Which means we have to do terribly long, boring grinding here. Okay. For ease of everything, Magic Up Mike should probably be up first just for the fire stuff here. Mate, okay, so this is Route 112. They're still level 14s up here. They're not any higher level than the other side. Oh. This is so stressful.
There might be a few trainers. Oh, never mind. I think the like trainers that jump out at you are broken in this. Because I've never seen any of them. Damn, we, I wish we had got Scar. I don't know if Skarmory is actually very good, but it's a cool looking Pokemon. So these were like level 18s, which is uh, better than what we were training on before. 113 might not be a bad place to train actually, for some of our Pokemon. Not for others, but for some of them. And Winey's getting up to level- Winey's leveling quite quickly, which is nice. We can go get the... Yeah, these are definitely better ones. Is Skarmory really good? Okay. Uh, I didn't actually get an encounter for Route 113 because I misclicked and killed the Slugma. Oh wait, I need to mark some deaths on the um, Nuzlocke Tracker. Uh... Yeah, Steel's good. Okay, so... Submit. Whiffs and Chat is dead. Sandra is dead. Uh, who else is dead? Oh, and Judy Dad is dead, which means that team is Tyler Blevins. We've got you, we've got you, we've got you, you. I'll miss Woofs. Woofs was, Woofs was an integral part of the team. Woofs was, Woofs was, I don't know if Spinders are broken in this game, because I've seen multiple that look like this and I don't think a spotless top is meant to be that common. Okay, why well, is opening up really fast at least? Yeah, I think spinders are broken in this game and they all have the same sprite. And it's not a good looking sprite. It's one of the worst spinders you could have. It is really funny they've still like, I'm pretty sure spinder is one of the ones they've like never, or like they've been really funny about bringing into more recent games. Purely because um, spinder has like, there, there's like, a near infinite number of spinders you can get because of the way their spots are placed. We're getting lucky with these flinches at least. And they just haven't, I think, beyond Gen 5. I don't think they've ever made spinders available in 3D. I could be wrong. But as far as I remember, uh, Black and White 2 was the last time that Spinder was ever gettable. Or you could have a Spinder in your game. Switch over to overtraining Kummel. This is the one Pokemon we didn't want to have to fight to fight against with Kummel. No. And you don't even have a doesn't even have a grass type. <laughs> Are you a friendship evo or are you a um, stone evo? Shiny stone. Where the fuck do I find a shiny stone in Hoan? This could be an issue. We may, if, if shiny stones aren't available naturally in Hoan and they haven't added them into the department store, we may have to make it so um, I may have to buy one on the marketplace, which is something we were trying to avoid, but it might be necessary.
Oh fuck, I gave it a move that really shouldn't have. If it's using copycat. Okay, does Incinerator do that much? 60, 70, 60. But I think you're a physical attacker, come on. Now, are you are you strong enough to beat up the Skarmory all on your own? I have a feeling the answer to that is no. Especially not on that hull. Come on. It's probably easier for me to do off-stream grinding, which is... Because then I... Oh, why are you selling rest? Rest is... I don't think you can learn moves that synergize with rest. Oh, never mind. I'm stupid. Ah. <laughs> oh. Now what's on... Does 114 have any good grinding stuff? Does Zang Don't Zangus give pretty decent XP? Oh, we could have had a Swabaloo. Oh, well, that did nothing. My brain is, yeah, I am slightly sick, so trying to be entertaining over grinding is really working for my brain right now. Okay, so Kamal can beat a single one of them before it's too much for Kamal. Whiny is also not almost at a level where where the where she's usable that's slightly scary uh um i think this will be really good xp though well i think i'll switch into garados <sighs> okay, you're now still on plus one. That should kill, right? I can't believe we lost the whole team. I bet I could have done that fight more effectively to to not lose. I didn't realize Torkoal was so was so beefy. That's what got me. Like I didn't realize that Torkoal was that strong. And, I, and all of my good... I didn't really have any good options for it. Oh, Lotad, you're do You're beatable. Oh. 
<sighs> is this exciting for you? Is this enjoyable content? Because I don't think it is. Ugh. <sighs> There's so much happening right now. Yeah, um, I think what I'm gonna do is because this grinding will take probably a couple of hours or about an hour probably, is I will do this off stream with a film on or something. And in the meantime, I'm gonna run to the toilet quickly. And then when I get back from the toilet, we will do some Forza, I think. Um, but yeah, I'll run to the toilet first. And uh, that means that it's time for the BYX screen. Uh, and I'm running out as well, that's about it. Give me one second. If you're a subscriber or you have the fancy Twitch thing, just enjoy the horrible Be Right Back screen. I'll be back in a minute. Hi, I'm back. How are we doing? 
and let's see if For Forza Horizon 4 wants to stream. Do you feel like, do you feel like working full time? Wait, did, did an ad still pay for you? Arky, did an ad still pay for you? Because if it did, I'd fuck something up. I said that ads wouldn't, it, I, I thought I'd press the button so ads wouldn't pay for subscribers. Have I done something, have I fucked something up? Um, I pressed, I pressed the button for it to stream Forza and everything immediately crashed. So, uh, looks like it doesn't want to stream Forza. Oh, okay. What's a hi? We'll give Forza one more chance to load. I may need to close a bunch of tabs. We'll see. And if not, we might play some Crusader Kings for like an hour or so. Yeah. Forza no won't work. Uh, we close view. We'll briefly close Discord. We'll close Spotify. We'll close EA. Forza, my dear, would you like to work? Hmm. Okay. I'm going to give it one more try, and then we give up and play Crusader Kings instead. Because I think, I think it might be fine if I let the game load first, and then I, then I set it so that um, OBS is watching it. But we... We'll, we'll wait and see. It might be that my PC just isn't powerful enough to handle running Forks and Horizon and streaming it at the same time. I mean, it managed to stream it on Discord, just now, but you never know. Right, we'll see if this breaks it. Um, it crashed. Doesn't want to play Forza. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, Crusader Kings 3. Carno won't work. Oh, wait, actually, very quickly, before I play Crusader Kings 3, there's something important I do need to do. Or is there? Eh. I think we're good, actually. Now, we do also have to remember the fact that Crusader Kings 3 takes 10 minutes. No. Actually, wait. Crusader Kings takes like 10 minutes to load, doesn't it? Okay, you know what? I thought of another stream we'll do instead. Um, I will, we'll do Crusader Kings another time, but it just takes too long to load for now, is the problem. So I have thought of a nice, chill little stream we can do for, like... Um, for like a little bit. It's egg. It's so quiet. Why are you so quiet, egg? Have I broken you by tabbing out?
Will it work? Or have I broken it? Is the question. What I may have to do if I want to... Oh, there we go. So this... For anyone who doesn't know... Wait, you haven't changed stream title. There we go. So for anyone who's never played this before, this is Lost Egg 2. It's a um, Japanese uh, precision platformer game where you're an egg and you're trying to get to the end of an obstacle course. It is incredibly difficult and this is the bonus level which is um, insanely hard. I have um, played quite a lot of this game and I'm not terrible at it. Um, and I am still light years away from finishing this level. But it's a very cute game. It's a game I sometimes just pull out um, if we need something to fill a bit at, at the end of a stream and we don't feel like GeoGuessr, which we've done quite a lot of recently. They really do. I mean, this egg is going all this way to get in a saucepan and literally die. But, okay, so one, two. So this is the first real obstacle, um, crossing the... the yeah, the first re All of this stuff right here. Sometimes I mess up the chair. It's fine. But uh, all of this stuff is quite easy. It's once we hit that like ladder where the game starts to get difficult. So, I, she says, completely fucking up the jump. <laughs> um, so, because I'm an egg, obviously, everything, every move I make um, hurts me. So, um, every time I, like, jump or fall, the life bar that you can see in the top of the screen um, goes down. I promise you I am good at this game, despite what you're seeing. Uh, this level is just incredibly difficult. And also, this game in general is just really hard because obviously you're platforming with something that's egg-shaped. And an eggs roll in funny ways. Ugh, oh, fuck's sake. This isn't a hard bit. Oh, this game is crazy difficult. This game is crazy difficult. Um, it took Tom... So Tom Walker is how I found this game. He really loves this game. And it took him 41 hours of attempts to get to finish this level. Pow! It would help if we jumped. Um, it's... It really would be so much easier. I mean, I beat the rest of the game. Like, and this, the speed the speed runs of this game are ridiculous. It's one of those games like Getting Over It or um, Only Up, where like, it takes regular, like casual players like hundreds of hours to, um, like hundreds of hours to beat a level. And the speedrunners do it, yeah, 40 hours to beat this level. Um, I've probably spent about two hours currently uh, on this level and I'm nowhere near um, the end because, okay. So from here we go up, we get onto the sun and then there's a bunch of platforming once we get onto the little sun guy. Um, so yeah, going up the side of this is, is easy. Uh, bah. Um, and if you think this is hard, Lost Egg Free, which is the sequel to this, the bonus level isn't too hard, but it has a level in its, um, the level six of Lost Egg Free is, um, maybe one of the hardest levels that the, that, um, Kimidori Soft have ever put in one of these games. Um, like, the community, um, 
originally couldn't beat the level legitimately and they found like a skip to beat the level with and um, then the developers patched the skip out but yeah it's got quite despite everything it's got quite like chill vibes that was bad and I do love this game because it's a game where you can really see your progress. Like, even if your progress is sometimes like depressingly slow, because it's like a skill-based game, it's a game where... It's a game where you like... Where like you, you can only improve. That is fair. I mean, I personally find this chill because um, because of the music and the um, and the vibes of it. But like, it is a little bit stressful. Oh yeah, no. I mean, these games are not for everyone. Like, I'm not good at platformers. Like. I enjoy these very difficult platformers, but I am by no means good at them. Even like not, even like regular platformers I'm not amazing at, like ugh. I was getting too wide on those circles and just fucked up that. This game is also multiplayer. It's not got the biggest community so there's no one else online on this level at the moment, but it is multiplayer and um, it does have a, a system that when you die, um, because once you run out of health, you die. You drop health that then heals other players. So when this level is busy, you end up with just like health pickups left all over the map. But yeah, I'm not good at this game. I have never claimed to be good at Lost Egg Free 2. Lost Egg Free adds in checkpoints as a mechanic, which is terrifying. Oh, the camera was not straight there. Ugh. So yeah, I can pretty consistently get up to the ladder. It's crossing the ladder that's currently our big issue. And there will be others later on. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> um, but the speedrun of this this level is insane. Oh yeah, no. Um, I am one of those people where sometimes the more I try something, the worse I get at it. Like um, when I was playing Bloodborne, I would have times when I when I played um, the same boss over and over again, and I would just get worse at it because I was like getting frustrated. And, like, the best thing I could possibly do was, like, walk away and, um, go. I said, get up. Yeah, the, wor the, the, like, the best thing I could do was just, like, take a little break. And then when I'd come back, I would always have, like, an attempt that was way better than, like, any of them. So I've got over the ladder maybe like four times, I want to say, in my entire time of playing this. And then I've never gotten further than the, the bit after the ladder. Okay, I'm going to take this slow. Oh, I took that too wide. Oh, I took that not wide enough. The oh, I didn't realize it was still rolling. Yeah, this is the problem with the egg, is you have the, the yellow circle that's like a break, but it's only temporary. Oh no, um, I've been streaming, um, so I'm currently in the process of um, the two like series, I guess, that I, I have on at the moment are um, Dark Souls and Pokemon and um, with Dark Souls I um, I 
often get impatient and greedy. Um, especially when it comes to healing. One thing I get told off by chat for quite a lot is, um, is my healing. Um, because apparently I do... <laughs> apparently I, I, I'm, I'm very greedy. I'm very greedy with healing. And I'm also the type of person who, when I play Dark Souls, I... No! I panic. I panic when I play Dark Souls. But yeah, no. I think the fact that I can play this game for quite extended periods of time is probably a mark against me in the ADHD column, but I don't know. If we, if, if we on this Twitch stream are doing, does Aoife have ADHD? Oh, oh I panic roll a bit. I, I think I've played enough of them now that I'm... I think I've played enough of the Dark Souls games now that I've got over panic rolling mostly. I do still have moments when I like start rolling too much, but oh, I can do these easily and I don't know. I can do that this bit easily. I don't know why I'm fucking up. It's terrible. Oh. <sighs> So I've been getting back, speaking of Panic of the Disco, I've been getting back into like early career Avril Lavigne. Like she's really good. People only remember like Skater Boy and Complicated, but um, her her music, real good. Um, I remember the one um, because as a child, I had quite limited internet access and also quite limited, like I didn't have a credit card until, or like a debit card until I was like, so 17 so like i couldn't buy stuff on the internet so um skater boy is a good song like um oh that was the best we've done um a lot like club skater boy is one that like club nights love playing like on tuesday nights if i was feeling better i'd um i'd probably be going out tonight to like there's a like trash there's a like um club night in edinburgh that's like a uh, pop punk and stuff club night super fun um but me sick me icky Come on. I'm doing so bad. If I die, we might do one of the earlier levels just so I can remember how to play this game. I don't know if that would help, actually. Sometimes it does help to, like, just destroy an easy bit again to just give you, like, get your confidence back. Oh, what the... F I've never failed that jump before. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, do the look in Russian. So what I might have to do is install um Forza on my Xbox. Because then I can, um, then I can probably stream it. Because, obviously, I don't have the same issues of, um, running the game and streaming it at the same time on my Xbox. So, if I install, if I reinstall Forza 4 on my Xbox, I can probably do a Forza stream at some point. If I have the space on my Xbox, that could be the one issue, because... My Xbox is mostly taken up with Flight Simulator. A game which I streamed once, and like a bunch of people who actually know how to play like play the game properly instead of just using it as like a thing to go and look at pretty stuff. Come on! This is so bad. I'm doing so bad here. <gasps> Egg! Friend!
Oh, they beat the yeah, they beat the game because they've got a golden egg, which means you beat every level. Oh look, they're already further than we've ever gone. <laughs> I can see them right up there. I wonder if they're also streaming the game. Probably not, I think I'm the only person streaming Lost Egg. It is one of the games I follow. Because this happened when Tom Walker was streaming the game, like, other people were playing it, and, um, also. Oh, there they are. They fell off. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Uh, eggs also do have collision, so that's one thing to... <sighs> no, I was trying to be quick so I wouldn't get in their way. Mm. Yeah, 3 a.m. sounds like it should be bedtime. Is that in, like, Australia then? I'm imagining somewhere like that. Anyway, thank you for coming. Yeah, I hope to, hope to see you again soon. Thank you for chatting. It's always nice to have, have uh, new people in chat. Um, I think the like notification thing is slightly broken. I'm not sure though. Okay, so if we fail yeah, South Australia. I was thinking probably Australia based on that time. Oh, I'd love to go to Australia one day. Right. Hey. Ha, ha, ha. No! <laughs> we were so close. That was definitely the best effort yet. And we probably, we might not even like have enough health to get uh, further. Yeah, it's just about practice. Um, and I am out of practice because I've played quite a bit of Lost Egg 2, but I haven't played for a while is the problem. I'm about to die as well. Um, okay, we'll just kill ourselves quickly. So what we will do is we will, I think I'll do one more life of this and then we'll call it a day because, is it um, Hogbox 7? I forget what time it is because it's different to we it's different to nine, which is when we do everything else. Yeah, if I wasn't, if I wasn't, wasn't sick, well, if I wasn't sick, I would be doing other stuff, but because I'm feeling icky. 
I don't really have anything else to do. Other than just edit video, but that takes time. Because yeah, I'm gonna get this fucking Golem stream edited and uploaded. I should probably do the same. 730, okay. Yeah, no, so I'll do this attempt because then that gives me time to get some food before it. How the fuck do we do this? Do I need to like move the camera whilst I'm rolling? How the fuck is this gonna be? What the fuck? <laughs> okay. So. No! Yeah, you have to like adjust the camera whilst you're bouncing. And I have no clue how you do that. I guess you could maybe just roll across it instead of bouncing. But rolling as egg is hard. them do it. Okay, so we do have the right idea here. And even the pros can fall off. Oh, they just reset in there. Yeah, doing anything a zag is hard. Well, we don't know that here. <laughs> Actually, to be fair. No, I was gonna say, like, did I ever have like an egg phase and I think I did Sh could I explain what this means for anyone watching who doesn't understand this language I could but I'm not going to that's fun it's funnier to do that way okay oh I'm so sorry we killed them back the didn't Oh, and I, I then messed up in response. Oh. I was told I'd get an email about this job today. Or they get in contact with me about this job today. So I, I got a call and I like picked it up assuming it would be them. And it was just like someone, it was a scam call and that's all I've had today. So all I've had today because of this is getting to pick up a scam call, which isn't what you want in life, really. be nice for them to get back to me but we're fine it'll take time it'll take time these things take time i should probably do some more job job applications this evening actually because um job good i could do that or i could or i could because i'll probably join the voice channel for hogbox but i won't Play, probably I could do some work on a D and D campaign I'm I'm working on. Right. No. Job bad money good yeah this is true. Although like to. 
to, as I've said, I am someone who enjoys working, which is fucked. I enjoy working if it's something I like. The issue is I've never found a job that I've, that's been something I've liked yet. This would probably be the closest to it, but I make nowhere near enough off this currently. Maybe one day, but it would have to be, uh, it would have to, we'd have to see some growth. And also like, as fun as this would be, I'm sure there are some real negatives to streaming all the time. Like, oh boy. Can you imagine having to moderate like a, ta a chat that's like 500 people? That sounds miserable. And you fuck up, you say one thing about femboys, canceled. These days. Fuck. Ah. Uh. Oh. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we're getting up to this pretty consistently now, at least. Oh, the camera was so wrong there. Why did I go? Why did I go? I feel like the camera is a big part of this game, like making sure the camera's in the right position, and I am. I did not do a good job there. Speaking of... Oh yeah, no. Like, the finances of this shit, unless you are big, like, unless you are big, the finances of it do not add up. And, and to get big, you have to stream so much, or in the case, or in the case of, like, say, Trash Future, you have to be already popular from something else. And, like, I can imagine... The, bur the things like burnout and stuff are real, even if it sounds like, even if it sounds like a silly privileged thing to complain about, like, oh, I'm burnt out from playing video games all day. Cause like, you're on show all the time. Like, I don't really think about this for me cause I'm like small, I'm just sort of doing this. But once you get big enough, like you are performing. Oh, come on. And it's probably even worse if you're one of those people like, like Amaranth or something, where like, you're functionally doing like softcore sex work. Oh no, 100% not. Exactly. And also they, they do only stream two times a week for, they stream two times a week for two hours and that income is split between an indeterminate number of people. So like, yeah, for them, it's just like an extra thing they do that like probably doesn't make them a massive money, but it's like, well, it's like an extra thing. Like I'd probably also need like to sort my, well, that's why I guess this is why you also have like YouTube slash TikTok highlights. Cause as well as like, as well as like working as marketing for you, like that's. That's also, that's also like, um, an, a potential income source. Oh, that other person quit. And then that, that there's like podcasts and, and spons, well, I guess you can, there's like sponsorships and like, um, lots of people have Patreons or podcasts or whatever. Maybe I should get round, because I keep threatening to do a, a, like, proper podcast, not the one I did last time. Um, I keep threatening to do it, and I just need to, like, find enough, well, I need to find, like, a, um, a core group of people to do it with, like, 
Um, I think I should talk to Anna and see if she'd be up for it. Fuck. But yeah, making income online also seems real precarious because like things can just change like with this whole Patreon thing where like Patreon just decided to like change to like being based in Ireland for like tax purposes and that like completely fucked over like a lot of people on it. The same thing can happen with like Twitch if it decides to like change the revenue sharing that it has or like so anything like that so like it's it's a it's a precarious thing and and like especially the like whole twitter situation really highlights that if you're like reliant on a single website some the people in charge of that website can just like fuck up and then then what do you do you just fucked you have to go back to to having like you have to, like, it's it's just, if, if it works out and you get into that, like, top 1% of people who make money off, like, streaming or YouTube or whatever, like, enough money to, like, live, then it can be pretty good. But, like, even a lot of them must be thinking. I think a lot of YouTube people, especially YouTube people back in the early, earlier days of YouTube, before it was, like, prof as sort of professionalised as it is now, a lot of them were very much, um, very much would, um, say things like, oh, we know it's not permanent, but it's nice while it lasts. And I feel like a lot of people feel the same about, like, any internet stuff. Oh, yeah, no. I do not know what I would do if Discord goes down. To be fair, I've got a number of people who I talk to on Discord also on, like, Twitter and stuff. But, like, yeah, it would be fucked. I do not know what I would do if Discord went down. Like, how many communities would be lost if Discord went down? Like, it would... Because for a lot of people, like... I, I spend quite a lot of time on Discord. But I also have, like, friends outside of Discord and, and, and stuff. So, like, it would be sad for me to lose Discord. But it wouldn't be, like, the end of the world. But for a lot of people, it probably would be hugely like damaging same with like twitter going down like as much as people have made fun of like twitter the whole twitter Elon Musk situation for a lot of people like that's that they've like made friends and like found communities through twitter and they're potentially going to lose them because of the actions of uh, one man and same with the same with anything like the internet is so precarious. And that's kind of terrifying. Until we get like state run discord. There's... I think I, I do remember the idea being floated a while ago of like a state run social media, which I mean sounds terrifying, but like if you could have it that the state fun like considers it a social good to have a piece of social media i mean it's not the worst idea in the world i think it would just be tough to implement i think i remember people talking about this like in 2018 19 when sort of corbyn and bernie sanders both looked like they had a chance of getting into power uh which was i guess foolish of us but um, I remember um, someone talking about that as a concept. Oh yeah, no, I am too. I'm not an anarchist. Well, I was an anarchist back then. I'm not anymore. Like, I would. I think if 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 social media, I the idea of obviously like it would be. It's a bit utopian to envisage state run social media which which is which doesn't become like i think state managed is it's it's similar to like something like the bbc i suppose like theoretically 
a publicly funded piece of social media would be great. It's the it's the issue of um, okay, then how do we stop the state just using it for their own means? Because like, unless you get like a dictatorship of the proletariat, which probably isn't going to happen in the near future in Britain, then there's a fair chance that even if you have like a decent democratic socialist party in power in Westminster for like a, some time, they're probably going to be voted out at some point. Oh, no, I'm saying it doesn't work with the BBC. Um, and like the BBC was fully founded to, um, to like fuck over the general strikes in the twenties, but there is a decent, I like the liberal idea of the BBC as this like independent institution, which is funded out of the public purse, isn't a bad one. Like it's, it's the BBC is a concept which works well, but the way it's set up has been set, it means that it's never going to be able to achieve what it achieves. And like, there are pretty like concrete proposals by people who know the system of like the BBC far better than I do for like improving it. And I think, I mean, I'm an, I'm an idiot on the internet. What do I know? <laughs> um, but it's definitely doable. Am oh, I getting hungry? Oh well, we're about to die anyway, so I'll I'll keep going until we die, and then we will call that a day. Whoa. But no, because like the BBC, if the BBC like didn't have an, a director general appointed by uh, the government, and also the license fee wasn't wasn't controlled by Parliament then theoretically it could, like, there's there's a book, um, and it's a Verso one, I think, that goes into this. I can't remember exactly what it's called, but there's like a Verso book which goes into this, and they uh, go through like the long history of how the BBC has essentially been a tool of capital in the United Kingdom. But at the end, they do lay out some... Oh, fuck off. I think that's it. I don't think there's any way I'm going to be able to. There's a, there's a Verso book on everything. I'll, f I'll find the name of it before we finish. Because it, it was a good book. It's, it's one that was... Because, like, I don't know. Verso have their issues. But, again, I think they publish a lot of good stuff. They publish a lot of bullshit as well. But they publish a lot of good stuff. That wouldn't be getting published otherwise. Right, we dead. Unless. No. <laughs> like Tantalus. Yeah. Oh. I think I have to, to quit. I have to press retry and then go back to me. Title. I'll find the name of it before I go before it, because it was a good book, and I would recommend it. Oh god, I need to go back and finish getting over it as well at some point. Oh yeah, I need to move the camera so I'm not. There we go. I'm a bit more central now. Uh, um, yeah, the follower alerts seem to be broken again. I'll need to fix them. Love it when it does this. Thank you. This is my sleeping one because I'm sick. I never actually changed into other clothes. Uh, verse, verso, books, BBC. The BB, it's, okay, here it is. It's called The BBC Myth of a Public Service by Tom Mills. Um, it's good. Would recommend. A 
I haven't read a Verso book in a while. Maybe I should get back into them. Anyway, how many of us are there? Are there enough of us justified as writing someone? There's five of us. Um, no one I'm following who's like little is streaming. If I click on the trans tag, we could just see if there's any like nice trans streamers going. Um, just to. Um, that's can we have it in English, please? Um, they're all just playing Baldur's Gate. I don't raid people enough is the issue, so... Um... Let's, let's see if there's any Scottish people. Trans Scottish people tra streaming. Oh, there's too many of them. Oh, no. I don't want... Oh, I don't understand how Twitch works. I don't understand how you discover people. Uh, what are you? You've got six viewers. Okay, I don't have time to find someone. I need to make a. Um, I need to make a list of raid stuff for future. I'm yeah. I, I'll find some people for next time. Because I forget now that I have more than like two viewers consistently. It's something I should probably do. Good night, everyone. See you all tomorrow, probably, unless I get a job. <laughs> Bye. Thank you.